Hey, hey, hey. And welcome back to the DK Goddess Palace, y'all. I'll be doing August 2021 for my Leo babies, all right? Please go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Turn the notifications so you'll be notified of my videos, baby. I already know how it go. All right? So I'm going to be doing all the signs. You know your girl back at it again. All right? And we're going to see what's going on. For my Leos for the month of August 2021, y'all. Love and money. We're going to go ahead and start off with spiritual messages. What are the messages for my Leos collectively? What do we need to know for August 2021? All right. Let's see what's going on. There could be three different people, three different situations here. Okay, so I have believe in the impossible. Conclusions are within reach. And meditate and contemplate. A lot of you guys can be needing to rethink certain decisions here. Or I'm also getting like, um, there's endings that you guys can be going through, but it's a need for you guys to see things through or understand why you're going through some type of ending. I'm also getting believe in the impossible as in believe that things can work out for you, believe that things can happen. Um, for you, you know what I'm trying to say? But I'm also getting, there might be some type of endings where you're like, wow, I can't believe this happened. And it's like, there's a need for you guys to realize something, realize either how you played a part, your thoughts, your emotions, okay? Conversations, the people around you, your environment. But I definitely feel like there's endings here that you guys could be um, thinking about. Or maybe you guys are just thinking in the month of August, about what's your next steps or what's going to be beneficial for you, okay? But I definitely feel like it's a major pull to, um, like, in like in depth. Maybe it's, like, getting deeper with themselves, okay? Let's see what's going on, Leos. Daughter of Baskets, okay? So I feel like there can be... For some of you guys, I feel like there's decisions. Maybe you guys are acting like you know you know it all here. Or maybe there's things that you need to contemplate, like learn more about. I'm also getting I'm also getting maybe some of you guys can be trying to get things together, collecting things here, trying to be more on your um your own this month, but I feel like there's a call. There's a need for you guys to ask for help in a situation here. Ask for advice as well. But I'm also getting a lot of you guys can be working on certain things where it's like maybe you guys are not really paying attention or paying attention to the things around you, paying attention to what you're going through, or paying attention in general, okay? It's really what I'm getting for some of you. Others of you, I feel like there's a plan that needs to be made here, or you guys are needing to plan something. I feel like some of you guys may also be realizing that a plan that you guys may have been working on or going towards is not going to be beneficial at this time. Again, I feel like there's a need for you guys to see, see why something is ending here, okay? I'm getting the dates for you guys, Leo, for August. I'm getting Le um, August 2nd through 5th, 11th through 14th, 18th through 21st, and the 22nd. So these days can be very significant for you when it comes to love or money. All right. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so when it comes to love here. I feel like you guys are working on either communicating your truth or speaking your truth here. Some of you guys are really focused on your money or focused on stabilizing yourself. It's like working on something here. Like I said, there's plans that you guys may have been making here. And maybe something is like I'm getting like a temporary win or it's like in your, you guys can be going out. Somebody can be asking you to dinner or for a date here as well in love, okay? I feel like the Queen of Swords are very, some of you guys may know that you need to cut somebody off here. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a Virgo, Sagittarius, a Libra, or an Aquarius here, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are not spending time with yourself. You guys can be um, being around a lot of people is what I'm getting. I feel like a lot of you guys know that when it comes to love, whatever you're trying to manifest, maybe you're trying to pull somebody in, do some type of candle work, spell work here, or maybe this is you trying to get love is what I'm getting, okay? The temperance in reverse, I feel like you guys can be imbalanced, like I said, when it comes to love, okay? The unknown card 
is in reverse. I feel like there's situations that are going to be happening in August that's going to make you realize that you need to focus on yourself here. Yeah, you can also be deceiving yourself, deceiving others here, not really telling the truth. Some of you guys may be holding on to the past here, or there's somebody or some someone in your energy, someone in your environment, someone that you're thinking about, and I feel like maybe you're wanting a new start with them here, or maybe you're wanting something new altogether, okay? But this can also be lying, cheating, sneaking, betrayal as well, where you can be realizing someone is playing you here, or maybe you're trying to play somebody, maybe you're, you could be single, trying to play the field, and you're realizing that you got caught up, or you could be in a relationship here. And there's some type of rifts going on with your situation. Yeah, night of wands. I feel like you could be in and out of somebody's life or someone could be in and out of your life here, Leo. And this can be causing, like, a lot of imbalance or inconsistency here. I feel like a lot of you guys are knowing that you need to spend time to yourself. It's like, you, in order for things to grow within for you, when it comes to your love relationship, you need to tell the truth. You need to be honest. Some of you guys are kind of, like, cold-hearted or maybe cold-hearted when it comes to love. Yeah, defensive when it comes to love because of either your past or how past situations have turned out. I feel like a lot of you guys, whether you're a woman or a man, it's like you guys are going to be imbalanced in August is what I'm getting. Because it's like maybe you're getting fed empty promises or maybe you're telling people empty promises. Maybe people are realizing that you're giving them empty promises, okay? But I feel like this inconsistency of a vibe of that type of energy and it's like you guys are trying to it's like you guys can also be around a lot of people or trying to act like you're happy during this month but in actuality it's like you're either missing somebody you're wanting to say something to somebody or it's like you're inconsistent with yourself and other people and your energy okay family friends loved ones okay and I feel like that can be throwing you off but again it's the need for truth or maybe it's like somebody's telling you the truth Leo and you don't like it Okay, it could be, like I said, family, friends, or lovers. You take it how you need. Take what you need with the rest, okay? So, when it comes to your money, let's see what's going on, Leo. When it comes to your money, for the month of August, when it comes to your money, what is going on? Okay, so, Leo, when it comes to your money in the month of August... I feel like you can have relationships, connections. It's like the people around you, your environment, social groups here, Page of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like like maybe it's like you're realizing that people are not really um, supporting you or this is you feeling like unloved when it comes to your connections, your family, your friends, whatever, okay? I'm also getting there can be a family member or a friend or a lover that is also tied into your finances here or giving you finances here. Or maybe if, you did, if you're a female, there may be a male energy, or female energy that may have, like, allowed you to get a whole bunch of products, clients, whatever. Or if you're a male energy, this could be a female or a male that was giving you a lot of services, clients, whatever the case may be. I feel like now it's like an upside down where it's like you and this person are not seeing eye to eye. You are not feeling harmonious. Or like I said, your social group's environment here that you live in is like you don't feel like this. It's like people are not growing with you or there's no growth, okay? I feel like you guys could be coming to the realization here that you've been manifesting the wrong thing here. You've been around a lot of the wrong situations and around, around the, wrong, the wrong people, okay? Manifesting things, yeah. I feel like some of you guys can be manifesting things in vain. Or maybe you're doubting yourself here. But I feel like overall in August, I feel like maybe this is like also a spell where you're trying to manifest or cross certain things in. And it's like you're being around a lot of people instead of taking the time to yourself to realize exactly what you want to manifest or what you want to call in. Some of you guys are wishy-washy about your passions, about what you want to do when it comes to your career, finances, or this can be a job as well. But I'm also getting the unknown parties, like unknown situations that are happening. Maybe you guys are doing magic towards a, um, a tale reader or spiritual healer such as myself. Um, but I'm also getting it's like you're not really listening to your intuition here. A lot of you guys may have been disconnected to your to your higher self as well. That's what I'm getting, okay? I feel like there's a need for you guys to look at things for what it is here because a lot of you guys are going off of a whim. Yeah, death is in reverse. There's no change. It's like you guys are supposed to change. Seven of swords is in reverse. A lot of you guys, when it comes to communication, how you deal with people, the tower is in reverse, okay? Look, and then the sun. So, yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are supposed to change Something when it comes to your viewpoints, your actions, okay, your behaviors, preconditioned behaviors as well. I definitely feel like when it comes to money here, um, someone, the magician is in reverse. Either you or a relationship connection around you here. Someone can be doing a lot of doubt thinking or you may have a lot of doubt thinking when it comes to your money. But I'm also saying you guys are doing magic against somebody here. It's boomerang back. 
and the death is in reverse. That's the reason why there's no change or there's no growth here. I'm also getting the powers in reverse. So when it comes to your career, your job, or some sort of that nature, some of you guys can be getting a cut and pay, a cut in hours here. Or there's some situation that's happening when it comes to your job here when it's, it's like you guys can be needing to um, look forward or look look forward here. Look towards like the light side of things, the silver lining in a situation is what I'm getting, okay? But I definitely feel like whatever changes that are going that you're going through, it's a need for you guys to look at changes, it's a need for you guys to look at the brighter side of a situation here and work on like work on focusing on what you need to here. But I feel like again the chair is in reverse. So there may be movement here. There may be no movement. It's like you want growth. You're waiting for money to come. You're waiting for something to come towards you here. But it's like there's no movement here. A lot of people are involved in a situation, whether this was you gossiping, talking shit, or um having somebody name in your mouth and it wasn't meant to be is what I'm getting. Or like I said, you could have been working with somebody. Could have also been a spiritual reader or um spiritual work, okay? But the eight of wands is a lot of people involved in the situation when it comes to your money. So either you're trying to manifest money towards you here in the environment, social groups, etc. It's like whatever you were manifesting or maybe you were trying to stop somebody else's finances here and it's boomerang back. Maybe you're trying to manifest something when it comes to money and stability within yourself, but it's like you were doing something wrong. You weren't opening and closing something right here. Or it's like I said, there's connections, your relationships around you here. It's like you weren't asking for help or there was a need for a change in order for your money to change, in order for you to see something um, go greater or grow for you, Leo, is what I'm getting. So I definitely feel like um, for the month of August, Leo, there's a need for you guys to just take a break. There's a need for you guys to just breathe as well. Um, and also, like, look at what the fuck you're doing. Look at what you're manifesting. Candles, spell work, whether you're going to a reader or not, whether you're listening to um, a whole bunch of different readers. It's like something's not right. Something's not working. And you need to redo something. But I'm also getting a lot of you guys are also being met with karma again because of what you've been doing or what you've been um, practicing or um, taking part in as well. So, peace, love, and light. I love you guys like I love myself.